you know what? I was told I cursed way too much. So we're getting ready to cut all of that out. Hopefully. Today is starting with me going to court for speeding. I really just hope he doesn't show up. So that way, I don't have to pay. But we'll see. I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, hopefully, Siri can get me there. You can t If you can tell, I really don't feel like doing this shit. But we're going to stop cursing. That's the goal. <laughs> About to walk into the court. I got a slight headache. So it's like, ah. Uh, but I'm about to go in here with a smile so I can get out of this ticket, boy. Y'all see I'm smiling, right? Because Officer whatever the hell his name is, didn't show up. Boy, do you know how much I'll give her had to pay? Oh my God, I had one charge. I can say it now because I don't gotta pay this shit no more. But I had one charge that was $270. Then I had another one on top of that that was 160. It's like $500. Judge was cool, but the fucking people around him, the people that tell you where to go, they was rude as shit. It's like, fuck all of y'all, for real. I don't give a damn if we in a court or not. I'm trying to stop cursing, but it's like, dog, why, why so rude? Yo, I hate walking under bridges because if this shit just magically collapses, I'm under. Oh! Do not fuck with bridges, bruh. Uh, what we about to do? I don't we don't like have to talk about what we about to do. We can just do it. But we do. Oh, we are. We going to see Creed, boy. Okay, yeah, we are going to see Creed. Going to see Creed uh, tonight. Shit, I want to be back in time for Empire. Damn, Empire don't come on. The finale yeah. was last week. No, it wasn't. That was the mid season. Yeah, that, oh, was the, that was that the was finale. the finale. Finale. Yeah, you mad? Damn. I think Creed gonna be good, bro, because Michael B. Jordan is legit. Ryan Coogler is legit. Same person who did Creed is the same person who did uh, Fruitvale Station. I've been a Ryan Coogler fan since uh, this movie he did called Locks. It's a short film that he did. It came out before he had even graduated from school. And then he went over to the Kodak Labs. What do you think about Creed? I'm giving a little backstory. He went over to the Kodak Labs in Colorado and went to a director's summit. And he did, that's what he wrote up. Fruitvale Station. And um, so I, Fruitvale Station is one of the only movies in the last five years that I literally cried tears in a the movie theater. Like, I was bawling. You because cried on Southpaw, which was like a movie that South came out of you. was sad as hell, bro. But you probably you know, want to like, cry today. I was like sobbing at Fruitvale, bro, when he died. Shit. Spoilers. Damn. It's too late. It's already okay, spoiled. The movie, the movie already came. The movie came out a while ago. If you haven't seen it, I mean, really. I think Green's going to be legit. I'm a big Ryan Coogler fan. Who's the director by change? That's what we were talking about. He's the director. Um, big Ryan Coogler fan, brother. Um, two, Michael B. Jordan is like one of the young, black, up-and-coming dudes. He's going to be like one of our main guys when we get older. So. We were supposed to go to the, to the uh, 5 o'clock show, but it's 5 o'clock now, so we have to go to the 7 o'clock show for Creed. So I don't know what the hell we about to do for 7 hours, but 7 hours? Well, not 7 hours, 2 hours. 7 hours? I still don't know what we about to do for 2 hours. 7 hours? We just went shopping the other day, so now it's just like I'm out spending money that don't need to be spent. I really like this jacket. Look at that boy. But I like the one that has the uh, what they call double breasted, where it's like a layer of meat up. and then a layer of It's a of jacket. Meat the no, it's mean a double jacket. breasted. No, it's the Oh, breasted. okay. Exactly. We wanted to get some food, but it's like this smell in this food court that just makes you not want to get anything it's like a burnt food smell i'm gonna tell you something 
A lot of people go to Chick-fil-A and get like chicken sandwiches and nuggets. But if you get the chicken soup, it'll fill you up. It's not that expensive and it's good as hell. They give you the little high school hospital crackers by premium. They've been making saltine crackers forever. But I'm telling you, get the soup, get you some fries. You can dip the fries in the soup. It's so good. This one got chicken noodle soup. All right, and go ahead and tilt up. I just Chick-fil-A. See how lit he is. We've already talked about this. Most people get chicken nuggets and chicken, but if you try the soup, it's bomb. I just kept it real and got some fries. Got some fries, I got that good old milkshake. This is like the best milkshake on the planet. Yes, sir. This is the most anticipated movie of the year simply because that guy's making it. Looking like the Hotline Bling video. Just a little bit. How did, how did you do that? I've always liked the way the movie theaters look. Going to see it on the 17th. What, uh, that was... The best part is they got a brother. I'm telling you, right? And he's on the front, which means he's going to be in most of the movie. Look at Leo working for that Oscar. You can see it in his eyes, bro. That's the, our next. We're gonna go see that soon too. But we in theater two, which is right here. Bathroom. We are inspiring filmmakers. So going to the movies is kind of like a big thing. Cause we plan on having people go to the movies to see, well, to see our movies. This is the worst part where you go and see if there's any seats left. And you gotta turn that corner. I see. And, oh, what's pretty nice? Okay, so, excuse me. So we good, there's not too many people in here at all. You know how you go to the movies a little bit late and you turn that corner and you see nothing but people like, I don't know where you gonna sit. Okay, so, in short, that was the best movie I've seen all year. That's how you do a boxing movie. Like, I can't even, we like, we just walked out of the theater. I can't even digest it, right? I can't even say how I feel. Is these the doors that we can go out of? Nope. This yeah, looks um, shady as hell. Yeah. It's too shady. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, that just went down the right. I would, I would give it to him, yeah. The boy, see, I'm telling you. My boy Ryan Coogler knows what he's doing. Just a fun fact, Ryan Coogler was working on um, Creed before he even started Fruitville. He always wanted to do that. So, to see it, it's amazing. You got these old people like Spike Lee who are still making movies, and you can tell the person that made the movie was like 40 years or older or like 50 years older, but you can tell a young brother made that movie. You young could. brother. Yeah. This older guy asked me for some, first he was like, I'm selling watches, man. I got, I got this nice one. And he had these ugly ass watches. And then he was like, um, man, you know what, to be honest, I'm just trying to catch the train. Just, you need to, I need, no, I'm trying to catch the bus. I need to go up the street. I had cash and I thought about not giving him nothing, but Terrell gave me this look like, how much cash you got? So I said, fuck it. Like, if you got it, you can give it. My favorite song on Kendrick Lamar's September Butterfly was How Much a Dollar Cost. I don't know if anybody heard that song, but it's about like a homeless guy asking for money. So I just kind of thought about that, and I was like, you know what, I might have just do it. That's Barack Obama's favorite song. We all do stuff so we, cause we're looking to get blessed. So hopefully God blesses me for that. I don't know.